adverb in english grammar what is adverb an adverb is a word that generally qualifies a verb an adjective or another adverb but it also qualifies a sentence or any part of speech except a noun or a pronoun adverbs modify verb adjective or another adverb often indicating time place manner degree or frequency definition of adverb according to jesse nesfield an adverb is a word used to qualify any part of speech except a noun or pronoun according to ran and martin an adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb an adjective or another adverb examples of adverb very now slowly quickly near carefully well daily soon easily often seldom clearly etc she is a very beautiful girl in this sentence very is an adverb it modifies the adjective beautiful i walk slowly in this sentence slowly is an adverb it modifies the verb walk he sings extremely well in this sentence extremely is an adverb it modifies another adverb well the boy comes here daily in this sentence daily is an adverb classification of adverb adverbs can be divided into three main categories simple adverb relative adverb interrogative adverb what is simple adverb a simple adverb simply modifies a verb adjective another adverb phrase or sentence it denotes time place manner number frequency degree affirmation or negation simple adverbs provide information about how when where how often or to what degree something happens examples of simple adverb past well today soon easily slowly quickly etc she can run fast in this sentence fast is a simple adverb he reads well in this sentence well is a simple adverb classification of simple adverb simple adverbs can be classified into seven types adverb of time adverb of place adverb of manner adverb of degree adverb of frequency adverb of reason adverb of affirmation and negation adverb of time an adverb of time shows the time or moment of doing the work we use adverbs of time to add the information of when adverbs of time indicate when an action takes place examples of adverb of time today tomorrow yesterday now then before ago since seldom often already always once twice thrice again soon late daily early frequently immediately instantly formally etc i went there yesterday in this sentence 
Yesterday is an adverb. I will come soon. In this sentence, soon is an adverb. He will go to Mumbai tomorrow. In this sentence, tomorrow is an adverb. She comes here daily. In this sentence, daily is an adverb. Adverb of place. An adverb of place indicates where an action takes place. We use adverb of place to add information regarding where. They provide information about the location of the action. Examples of adverb of place. Here, there, far, near, hither, didar, nearby, away, hence, thence, abroad, ahead, locally, universally, everywhere, nowhere, somewhere, etc. Go there. In this sentence, there is an adverb. Come here. In this sentence, here is an adverb. Adverb of manner. Adverb of manner describes how an action is performed. We use the adverb of manner to add information regarding how or in what way. Examples of adverb of manner. Does, so, well, clearly, slowly, steadily, correctly, bravely, badly, softly, sadly, easily, quickly, carefully, carelessly, suddenly, simply, swiftly, possibly, probably, luckily, widely, wrongly, fortunately, unfortunately, urgently, rightly, naturally, beautifully, etc. He speaks English well. In this sentence, well is an adverb. Our army fought bravely. In this sentence, bravely is an adverb. He solved the problem easily. In this sentence, easily is an adverb. Adverb of degree. An adverb of degree shows the degree or extent to which the work has been done. We use the adverb of degree to add information regarding how much or to what degree or extent. Adverb of degree. Modify adjectives, verbs or other adverbs to indicate the extent, intensity or degree of an action, quality or state. Examples of adverb of degree. To, very, almost, fully, wholly, completely, partly, much, deeply, totally. Entirely, somewhat, altogether, little, rather, enough, half, greatly, poorly, strongly, extremely, nearly, quite, fully, partly, etc. The mangoes are almost ripe. In this sentence, almost is an adverb. He is too careless. In this sentence, to is an adverb. I am very happy. In this sentence, very is an adverb. Adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency indicate how often something happens. We use the adverb of frequency to add information regarding how often these adverbs Tell about the frequency of work. Adverb of frequency provide information about the frequency of an action, event or state. Examples of adverb of frequency. Often, seldom, always, once, never, 
frequently, again, twice, thrice, repeatedly, regularly, yearly, weekly, constantly, etc. I often meet him. In this sentence, often is an adverb. A barking dog seldom bites. In this sentence, seldom is an adverb. Adverb of reason. An adverb of reason shows the reason behind doing a particular task. We use the adverb of reason to add information regarding why. These adverbs provide a reason for an action or situation. Examples of adverb of reason. Therefore, so, hence, etc. I therefore could not go there. In this sentence, therefore is an adverb. Adverb of affirmation and negation. Adverbs of affirmation or negation express affirmation or negation. Adverbs of affirmation confirm or assert that something is true. On the other hand, Adverbs of negation are used to deny something. Adverbs of affirmation or negation are used to indicate agreement or denial of a statement. Examples of adverb of affirmation Yes, surely, certainly, definitely, absolutely, truly, indeed, undoubtedly, etc. She will definitely help the poor. In this sentence, definitely is an adverb. India will certainly win. In this sentence, certainly is an adverb. Examples of adverb of negation. Not, never, etc. I shall never forget this contribution. In this sentence, never is an adverb. She did not go to school. In this sentence, not is an adverb. Relative adverb. Relative adverbs are used to join or relate two sentences. The relative adverbs where, when and why provide additional information about a place, time, or reason. According to Ren and Martin, a relative adverb, like a relative pronoun, relates or refers back to its antecedent. Examples of relative adverb Where, when, why, etc. Show me the house where he was born. In this sentence, where is a relative adverb. She told me the reason why she did not go there. In this sentence, why is a relative adverb. Interrogative adverb. When adverbs are used for asking questions, they are called interrogative adverbs. Interrogative adverbs typically seeks information about manner, place, time, reason, or degree. These adverbs often begin questions. These adverbs are important for forming questions. Examples of interrogative adverb Where, why, when, how, etc. Where is Shubha? In this sentence, where is used as an interrogative adverb. When did she come? In this sentence, when is used as an interrogative adverb. Why are you late? In this sentence, why is used as an interrogative adverb. How did you go there? In this sentence, how is used as an interrogative adverb. When did you go to school? In this sentence, when is used as an interrogative adverb.